how many people actually currently have a marketing automation tool in place? Okay, uh, how many people are considering a marketing automation solution? Okay, so we're probably at about, probably two thirds of the room either has one or is considering one. And truthfully, it's, it's not surprising. It can have a huge impact on your business. Um, these are just a few of the larger marketing automation solutions, but there's, there's a slew of them out there that can power all sorts of different results for your company. Uh, things like decreasing your sales cycle, increasing your win rates, um, generating more marketing qualified leads. There's a ton of different improvements that you can realize from marketing automation. Now, let's look at a couple of actual real examples with real results. Uh, these are available case studies. Um, Octopus HR, they implemented a marketing automation solution and they were able to decrease their sales cycle by 29%. That's money in the bank earlier, faster. It's money in the bank. They also increased their uh, conversion rate from lead to close by 34%. So the first metric they did by improving the handoff between marketing and sales by better, being better able to qualify some of those leads that should have been passed over to sales earlier. So big results for them. Now lead space, they were able to increase qualified leads by 337%. That's not insignificant either. And that also had an additional uh, impact which was increasing pipeline and ultimately uh, increasing revenue for the business as well. So another, another big result. Auction.com. They were able to increase their revenue per email by 700%. And they did this by using the intelligence they gathered by prospects visiting their site, taking that information and aggregating it in a single email that was very personalized, very segmented, very targeted to those individuals. So clearly, marketing automation can have big results. This is just a few. You can find a ton of case studies out there with really great metrics. The problem is that a lot of people think it's just a simple equation. That you buy the solution and you get the results. Especially when you look at all the case studies that are out there. So here's the reality. It's complicated. It's actually, it's not even just complicated. It's complicated, it's time consuming, it's incredibly technical, and it's expensive. It's actually probably one of the biggest investments in technology that you're gonna make for your marketing team. So you wanna make sure that you get it right. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of, uh, a couple of tips uh, on how you can help get it, how you can help get it right. I'm in the unique situation where I'm in the process right now of implementing from scratch my second marketing automation uh, tool. Um, so this is a, if I had to do the last one over again, and this is actually what I get to do now, which is sort of cool. So I'd start off by focusing on outcomes. Know what you're trying to achieve. This may sound basic, but it can do so many different things. And these systems are incredibly powerful. I cannot understate that enough. They are so powerful. They can they can help you manipulate your CRM. Um, they can really just uh, improve productivity for you, really um, increase your win rates, uh, you know, a ton of different positive things. Make sure you, de you really detail and write them out, have your marketing team write them out. This is what we want to get out of this big piece of software that we're buying, right? I mean, this might cost you somewhere between 40,000. I've heard of solutions for small SaaS software companies paying over 100 grand for their marketing automation tool. So make sure that you've focused on your outcomes, list them out. This is what we're trying to achieve. This is the metric that we're hoping to achieve with them. And, uh, and then take that and overlay some extra information on it. So if you look at the severity, what is the severity of the issue that you're trying to solve in your business? Um, take for example, if you're trying to solve the problem that you get so many leads that you just have no idea what to do with them. Uh, your salespeople can barely keep up with them, they're trying to pick them up and, and find which ones are great, uh, they are frustrated, that's probably a pretty severe problem. 
So severity might be high. And then overlay that with the difficulty. The difficulty it would take when you're implementing a marketing automation solution to actually rectify your problem. And then take it one step further and look at the value that's going to provide you. Right? So what are you going to get back out of the business? And, and maybe you decide, you know, you look at those items, you look at the outcomes that you're, you're, you're looking for, and maybe you actually pick an easy one to start off. But make sure that you've got them detailed out. Make sure that you're prioritizing them, I'd suggest, based on these, uh, based on these metrics. And then, you know, really set your expectations based on the timelines that it's going to take to do some of this stuff. Um, in my experience, you know, you really have to dig in, you really, really have to dedicate the time just to do, you know, one aspect of this really, really well, but it is so worth it. Um, you know, and iterate it out. It might be two years before you have everything, uh, you know, sort of laid out and completed the way that you want to. But actually, there was a stat recently that I read that said something like 60% of marketing leaders feel that they're not fully leveraging their marketing automation solution. And I would tell you that probably the other 40 just don't know how powerful it is uh, because there's so much that you can do with it. I can't possibly imagine um, actually ever having completely used every, every, every piece of the solution uh, to its fullest. But this is a really, really important point. Marketing automation is a tool. Marketing automation is not a replacement for good marketing. Your marketing programs have to be robust from the start. You have to actually have fantastic content. Think of all the content that's out there right now. It is more important than ever that you have the most relevant, timely, thought-provoking content to offer your target market. It's critical. And finally, you have to make sure that your marketing programs are inviting conversions at every single possible interaction with the prospect. And I don't mean uh, big green buttons. I mean the thought process and actually making sure that there is some way for people to progress from marketing program to marketing program. Um, really, really focusing on that conversion. So I'm a huge advocate of, of marketing automation. I, uh, I think it's, it's wonderful and powerful and can do a ton of stuff for you. Um, but focus on the outcomes. Um, expect it to be hard but rewarding and make sure that your marketing is good from the get-go. That's it.